Hello everyone, it's Christine Stitch All The Things. Welcome to my channel today. Today is Saturday, May 27th. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping by and choosing to spend some of your time with me. And if you're returning, same. Thank you for choosing to spend some of your time with me. Get caught up with uh, everything that's happened this week. I've got some stitching to share. I have some quilting things to share, including a wool applique block finish and the beginnings of another new wool applique quilt. I have um, an FFO to share with you, and that's kind of fun, I think. And then I've got some uh, subscription purchases that came in, and then I've got some plans for um, a, a big project bag uh, coming up, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, a giveaway at the end, which I think you may be excited about. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Okay, I know I'm saying lots of us. I always do. If you're new to my channel, I'm really sorry. They drive me crazy. I try to edit them out, but the last few videos, I haven't had time to really sit and watch the whole video, and they end up staying in. I'm one of those people who fills silences. I can't seem to be quiet and not say anything or make any vocalization while I'm thinking about what to say next. It's a problem for me. I really should have taken some sort of journalist or learn how to speech class, just speak, <laughs> learn how to speech, learn how to speak class for videos. But no, here we are. And everyone mostly endures. And I thank you for that. I have the dogs in my lap, so I'm going to share them as I do at the beginning of almost every video. Here's Cooper. Cooper has had a tummy ache. Um, he's had an upset tummy for two days. So he has been getting a uh, chicken and rice diet just to get him to eat. He doesn't, he doesn't want to eat anything. And I, you know, I'm trying to get his system back sort of regulated. So he's getting chicken and rice. Hi, baby. Thank you for my kiss. He's annoyed because whiskey's up in my lap and Cooper wanted to be the only one today, uh, but he's here instead. So let's show everyone Cooper and then I'm going to put him down. They like to run around anyway while I'm in the video. And here's Whiskey and he is notorious for trying to steal Cooper's food. And so I've had to watch him like a hawk because uh, he's not a fan of Cooper getting chicken and rice, special chicken and rice. So, of course, whiskey has to have some too uh, because, you know, it's it's not fair. Uh, and I always kind of spoil them with little foods anyway. Although this one, last night, I had their food down and I turned my back to put something in the fridge and and in about the space of five seconds, this little man was all over Cooper's bowl. His bowl wasn't even finished, but he decided I'm gonna grab Cooper's while I can. And Cooper doesn't feel good, so he's like, meh, whatever. So um, yeah, he likes food a little too much. So there's the boys. And uh, Cooper's doing better today than he was yesterday, but I'm still keeping an eye on him. He woke me up three times in the middle of the night on Thursday night, but well, Friday, early Friday morning, um, I'd hear him jump off the bed and that's not normal. They sleep all the way through the night from when we go to sleep till when we get up. And, and so I knew he had to go to the bathroom the first time. And the third time I heard him jump off the bed. The second time, the middle time I heard this huge clang that woke me up and I realized that we have a gate um, we have a set of stairs that goes from the top stairs to a split level entry and there's a gate there. Um, and then they open the gate and they can come downstairs and go outside. But at night I shut the gate and I close our little doggy door down here. So, you know, we got lots of wild bunnies and stuff running around and, and the moths love to come in the house. So I have to close that little doggy door. So when I heard the bang, I was half asleep and then I realized Cooper was trying to get down and he thought the gate was open. So he must have just barreled down the stairs right into the gate. I felt so bad. I jumped up, ran down, 
um, got him. He was fine, but he was like, I got to go now. So we ran down the stairs and anyway. Okay, so enough of that. Uh, five minutes and I'm talking about dogs and stuff. All right, so we've had a good week, a uh, busy week. We've had to do uh, some home repairs and stuff. So not a lot of, by the time the evenings come, um, I'm still recuperating. My back and my neck are a lot better, but still I'm having to take it fairly easy. I haven't done any of my lettering for over two weeks. As a matter of fact, I missed the very last class uh, of the lettering, so I have to catch up. And And I've been trying to be careful and not aggravate my back or neck at all. So I'm going to be behind when the next class starts on uh, the first Saturday in June. Anyway, so in the evenings, I've been taking it a little easy and not stitching as much. So Sunday, if you've been following my channel, you know Sundays, I do the Sunday Stitching Sal, um, Snow Village Sunday, and I'm working on the last chart in the top row, which is the popsicle cart. So this is the completed, well, this is the image of the completed chart. And, uh-oh. I always drop something, at least one thing every time. And we started off with the bang. I just dropped, dropped something. Okay, so there's the popsicle cart. Oh, I just realized I left the light on in here. I hope that doesn't affect the lighting too much. So I still have to finish the snow bank at the bottom and add in the little um, snow, snow, girl I don't know is it a I think there's a bow on her head yeah and maybe a little jacket and the tree and that's what I've got to get done this Sunday so hopefully I'll have some time and get that done the other thing I've been working on which is what fell was the uh, cover for the June this one right here year of celebrations and I haven't gotten very far on that at all. I'll just hold the back of this paper up. I mean, I, I got a good amount of the way through. Um, what, two thirds maybe? So I just have a, a little bit left. I've got two starfish that go here and then there's like a little bucket with pinwheels and the border uh, that goes down here and here. <laughs> My usual klutziness. So, yeah, I'll be working on that this week until it's done. Hopefully no later than Tuesday because Sunday, Snow Village Sunday, work on this Monday and Tuesday. And if I sit down early enough and I get done early enough with my day's work, maybe I could have a finish on that on Monday. And then after that's done, let's see, the... I think the new week is coming up. I did not do well with my whip go. I did not complete either whip go this this month. Um, so I may pick that up if it's before the end of the month. I may pick up Seize the Day and just do a little stitching there. That one I completely stopped once I, I realized my neck was giving me problems because that one I just looked pretty well straight down. Uh, so that one I stopped working on. And then the other whip go... Uh, that I was going to work on was after the roses and and I forgot to pull it out seven days before the end of the month So I'm not even gonna make that one. So I decided just concentrate on finishing this June year of celebrations Which was supposed to be finished by the second week in May and here we are um, and then Possibly seize the day start that the other thing that we've got coming up and Maybe starting before I record again, I think, yeah, it will be starting before I record again, is uh, the Fat Quarter Shop Haunted Halloween Stitch Along. And I'll be talking and showing a bit more of that towards the end, and um, I'll give a big hint about that giveaway. Uh, so we'll talk about that more and my plans for, for getting that worked on uh at the end of the video when we discuss what I might possibly be giving away this week. All right, the other thing, that's it for stitching. The other thing I was, I have been working on and shared with you is trying to get this 
uh, Thimble Blossoms block done, block three from the Thimble Blossoms quilt. And I got all of the uh, decorative stitching done. I put the button on. We've got strawberry seeds and the little hanger there. Some feather stitching here on this uh, spools. This spool and this spool. And then I added in this fern stitch on this side. I had such a difficult time putting this fern stitch in. I have no idea why, but it just was not going along as easy as this. I must have pulled it out, uh, the bottom part of this, probably four times before I decided to start from the top. And it wasn't, it's not even the same, but I don't care. It's fine. And then I uh, put some French knots in there. I got this done on the on Thursday with the Thursday stitchers. So I was very excited to have that done. Now, I think I mentioned last week my plan changed because I was supposed to be getting the uh, Buttermilk Basin Block of the Month, the 2023 Seeds of Kindness Block of the Month started. I wanted to get those blocks done and caught up before I ordered the next three blocks in that Thimble Blossoms quilt because I'm only ordering one row at a time. And I think I mentioned in the last video that Nanette in the fans of the, of Buttermilk Basin group, she posted that on June 1st, we're going to be, uh, whoever wants to join in, they're going to be starting a sew along for the patriotic sampler that was in the uh, quilt, I think it's quilt sampler. I've got the magazine here. I just, that was the paper from the, the, the quilt kit that I bought. So I, I put that with, I copied the instructions here out of the magazine because I needed to make a bunch of notes. And, um, so I just put the, the, the image that came with the, the quilt kit with that sort of, you know, anyway, it's from the Quilt Sampler 2022 magazine, and they're going to be starting that on June 1st. So I thought, I, you know what, I will get my blocks prepped. This will motivate me to get this done and keep this kit from languishing around like the many other kits that I've bought and are still languishing around. So I started working on this yesterday. It's a, some of the blocks are pieced, and uh, some have out applique on them. Some are pieced and applique. We're going to be starting with this flag block. And she said the first week, apparently, I, I haven't seen the schedule yet, hasn't been posted, but apparently week one, we're starting with this block, which is not the first block, but she thought that would be, I think she thought that would be great to start with because if somebody only wants to do this one big block, here that's perfect for if they celebrate um fourth of july you get that done in time so the first week she wants to do all the piecing for this block and then the second week the applique well i'm going to get a jump on uh, on it since i know that i um i want to get all the piecing done so that i don't fall behind if i'm only like hand stitching on these one day a week on thursday so I got all of the um, fabrics today. I've just got everything cut out of the quilting cotton fabrics, not the wool fabrics. So I've got all the blocks, um, borders, everything in bags with a little label. Like this is a, a set of pinwheel blocks that's just pieced. So I've got that down. Like there's a pieced border. So I've got everything written down like that and the last thing I have to do and I'm going to do it after this video actually I will be starting to get the applique pieces traced onto fusible web and then um, fuse to the wool and put those pieces in with their corresponding block bags and when it's time to work on that block then I will cut all of those out so I kind of have a it's all falling over because of all that, those plastic bags trying to get, keep that from falling down. So that is going to be my plan for this week is to get that. And I should be done by Monday with that first block. Have it pieced and the applique uh, fused and ready to start stitching. That way on Thursday, even though I'll be a week ahead, on Thursday I can start hand stitching that block. 
and then I'll just be doing that once a week, get the next blocks, week's block ready and either get a jump on hand, the hand applique part, um, the stitching if I, if I need to. Um, so I'm ready for Thursday stitches. I just want to use as much of my time as best I can with this. So that's the wool applique quilt I'll be starting and we'll be focused on that for the next 12 weeks. And I'm excited about that. Um, as far as other quilting plans, I mentioned I have um, a, a couple projects, uh, some big, a big project, project bag that I want to get done. Um, so my quilt plans are what I'd like to do. I have had my Shine On Quilt sampler quilt, and I've mentioned this many, many times. It's just folded up, basted, ready to for me just to sit down and quilt it. And it's sitting on my quilting table and it's just in the way. And because I have so many things I wanna get done over the next several months, I've got two blocks of the month starting, one in July, other than the one I just mentioned. Um, other than the sampler, so along, then I have the buttermilk basin um, block of the month I wanna get caught up. I'm in the middle of the thimble blossoms quilt and then I've got two shabby fabrics blocks of the months that I wanna get started. One starts in July, one in September. So that's, that's a lot of work and I'd really try to like to, I'd like to try to keep up on them. I'm not sure that I can, but I don't wanna to get too far behind. And so I realized I've gotta get this shine on sampler quilt quilted. So this week, as soon as I get that one block, that flag block piece put together, the applique pieces fused onto it, I'm going straight to the shine on sampler quilt and I'm going to get that quilted. It shouldn't, because I'm just gonna do an all over design, and I wanna just get it done. It should take me two, two days if I get down in the room early enough to get it quilted. Um, three days at the most for quilting and then I have to trim it up and bind it. I've got the binding all ready. So I hope to have a finished sampler quilt by next week to share with you. Um, that would be fantastic and especially because it's a perfect size to go in the motorhome, and I know the mister's getting anxious to want to go do something somewhere. We don't have any real plans, but I know. I, I just get this feeling he's like going to be ready to to want to go, and that would be great to have that quilt done, and I can just have it in the motorhome. So that's the plan. Get the buttermilk basin block one done. Get the shine on sampler quilt quilted and bound and done. Okay, speaking of projects that I I wanted to get done, I said I wanted to to do a project bag project. Um, it's a pattern from Sarah Lawson of So Sweetness. It's the Amethyst Project Bag, and I'd like to get several of these done. One for each of the block of the months that I'm going to be doing, and um, I want to test one too. Uh, test the pattern out before I do that. So I, I've got the pattern and I, I grabbed some fabrics from my stash to, um, this is a, a Gasly's sewing fabric. I forgot exactly the name. And I received this, uh, this fabric, an Aboriginal print, which I love and matches, the colors match really well. So I'm going to test a bag test the pattern. I don't have to test it. It's already done. Uh, but I'm, I want to make a bag first with the pattern just to, you know, work out all the kinks and stuff with making a new bag pattern. And then I just got some fabrics in for the, those block of the months I mentioned. So since we're in purchases now, um, for the a Merry Christmas Garden, I got two of the prints. This is going to be the exterior print. I may be holding it upside down. I don't know. Uh, but I, I like that floral all over pattern. And this will be the interior of the bag. So these will hold all the blocks, all the applique things, the thread, everything I need for that block of the month in one container. And this will, these fabrics will be this, this bag. But what I've decided to do is she's got like some sewn in pocket here 
and and these pens i don't need that i'm just going to either do another mesh up here for two pockets or get some clear vinyl and and do a vinyl pocket i've seen i've seen that done on several things other people doing their bags so i've got those fabrics for the merry christmas garden block of the month and then i just got this fabric for the wonder lane block of the month that i've talked about these several times in the past video couple videos uh, but this is the other shabby fabrics block of the month i was talking about this starts in september and i love these little houses so this will be the exterior print and i i chose prints that i can reuse these bags over and over obviously but they're neutral enough that it doesn't it's not completely specifically themed you know and these little cute little houses these will be perfect oops it's upside down turn it this way you know just for a general craft project bag and the inside I realized I had this stitch print from Lori Holt and I thought this would be perfect for the inside of it so I love the I love it. So this will be the inside of that bag and this will be the outside. So three of those bags I'd like to get done. I don't have to get them done immediately, but I'd like to get that first bag done so I know what I'm doing before I use these two. Um, I got some mesh in, just some regular white mesh. And then because um, in this pattern, there is some white, you can see there's elastic and there's a buckle. And what this is for is when you've got your blocks or whatever in there, you can buckle them in so when you carry it by the handle and it's it's sideways like this, your, your blocks and things all stay in place. So for the um, Merry Christmas garden one, I got the these a pink buckle and light pink zipper and for the the wander lane i just got a teal buckle and a teal zipper so i'm excited to try those for my test bag i just have a black buckle i got from a backpack one of the kids' backpacks from forever ago and it matches the interior fabric so that's 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 all good so that those are some projects i want to get done but like i said i want to get that shine on quilt done first before I even start in on that those just get that project done and out of the way it's been sitting here for almost two years waiting to be quilted year and a half okay so the last thing I got in um, the the red barn Christmas fabric I mentioned I ordered this in the last video because this has um, a 10 inch square of the fabric I love the line I didn't buy it just for the 10 inch square but there is a, this fabric here goes with the hands-on design Merry Christmas, a, no, a classic Christmas. And I've got everything I need for that now just to stitch and get it finished. And now I've got this whole Christmas themed fabric square. So I'm excited about that. So that came in and the shop who sent that also sent me a mini charm pack of Sweetwater's newest Christmas line, Blizzard. So that's cute. Oh, I'm, I'm dropping little edges, little um, pink edge pieces everywhere. So that was nice to get that in. And so that's that. All of that stuff. Um, I, did, I did mention that I got a couple of my subscription things in and now I can't find them. Oh, here they are. From the tagged, the Sweetwater Tagged Label Club. Um, I got in this month's labels and they're patriotic themed so those will be nice this one I may use on the back of the uh, the patriotic sampler quilt I'm doing from buttermilk basin when that's done I'm not sure one of those I will likely do so that's fun I like getting those little labels in and then I got my um, Grace Notes Fabrics, Fabric of the Month. And this one is called, 
I dropped again. They, they always include a, a sticker like this one for this month. French vanilla. So this is a beautiful neutral. Let me... I've got a light on, like I said, so the lighting is different in here, but this is just really, really pretty. And this is going to go, I may, um, I had some samplers from a while back kitted up, and I think I may replace one of the fabrics with this one. I think it's perfect. Maybe the Teresa Kogut one. I can't remember what it's called. Terrible with names. So that, that's it for the subscriptions and mail. I did get in though, and this is where we're sort of going into the giveaway portion. Um, I mentioned last week that I had the Fat Quarter Shop Mystery Halloween uh, pieces. I ordered the materials in two different orders because they had uh, some things in stock but not other things. So my first order that got lost in the mail for like a week and a half was the the thread pack so it came with all the the classic color works threads and the floss bitties and that one i also had the called for fabric this is um had it upside down pistachio from uh fiber on a whim and this is a really beautiful fabric really pretty color the halloween chart's going to be really nice on that and i had ordered a needle minder to go with that except I didn't remember that I ordered the needle minder when I placed the second order which was for the the uh, mesh project bag I really wanted this it's in a pumpkin color it's really pretty and I, th I decided I really wanted that um, and so I ordered the mesh pumpkin bag and another needle minder <laughs> so I was sitting there I was like that's that wasn't very bright. So what I've decided to do is this fabric is huge. They sent me a huge piece of fabric. So what I decided to do is because they sent me a huge piece of fabric, um, this fabric will actually cover two charts, uh, two charts, stitching this twice. So I thought I will just cut this right down the middle and uh, I can trim it yours to yours to to the actual size with three inch borders if you like um, I think it's like 13 and three quarter inches by 13 and three quarter inches if you uh, if you put three inch borders on it uh, on each side so add six inches total to the finished design size um, and this is if I cut it in half, you end up with a piece that's like 14 inches by 18 inches. So um, I thought I'll cut this in half. I'll include an extra needle, the the extra needle minder. This is for the giveaway. I know I'm a little scattered. The dogs just kind of went crazy. I had to stop the video. I'm trying to remember where I was. I will include the entire pack of floss bitties. There's four designs in here. Um, there's a, a moon and the bat and the Halloween a spider web, a pumpkin and a scary tree. And then, uh, because I can't afford to buy the overdyed floss pack twice, I went and got the DMC set, um, of all these flosses to include with this. Now I'm keeping that project bag. Okay. I won't give you that needle minder since it just fell. I'll give you the one that's still wrapped. Um, but I did just get some big A3 size project bags, the mesh ones, uh, and I love these. I actually put a bunch of quilt projects and stuff in them. Uh, they hold an 11 by 11 Q-snap perfectly. So I am going to uh, put this up for giveaway. The bag, uh, half of the fabric, your half, uh, the floss bitties, the floss skeins, and a needle minder. That's for giveaway. So uh, in your comment, just leave a comment. I'm not going to do a keyword, but what I want to know is, do you want me to cut and serge your fabric to 
size. So I, I will double check because I can't remember exactly. I figured it all out the other day. So let's say it is 14 inches square and this fabric that I cut for you is 14 by 18 inches. Do you want it with the extra, you know, four inches on the bottom? Because some people like to use their scraps. Or do you want me just to cut it to size with the three inch border all the way around and then you're ready to go you can just start in the middle or just start three inches in from a corner and you don't have to worry about the extra or whatever so just let me know trim it off and serge it or just cut it in half serge it and leave it as is trim it up right or just leave it alone okay you know what i mean right so that's that's this week's giveaway Okay, so let's announce last week's giveaway winners. I'm doing everything a little out of order this week. Uh, okay, so last week I had two charts up. One was the trucking along chart from July. And Cheryl Brumba, Brumba, you won this, so congratulations. I will get that in the mail to you this week. And the other was the Ink Circles Half the Fun chart. And Mary Nelson, you won this. So congratulations to both of you. Um, as far as the last giveaway, I didn't mention how to enter other than just leave me a comment. Um, I will ship anywhere. So anyone from anywhere uh, that the U.S. Postal Office ships to can enter. Um, don't say giveaway in the comment. And you just must be 18. So that's it for the the giveaway I mentioned like I said I, I've done everything out of order and I'm a little um, discombobulated did I show you my FFO I didn't I've been a bit scattered lately it's been really bad lately but um I, I had so many things to share and show you and then the mister came in for some of that and then I I got a little kind of off my game a bit because um, he's just hanging out with me while I'm talking, but that's fine, and, and that's fine, but I still, I, I lost my rhythm there towards the middle of the video. Anyway, this is my March finish uh, of year of celebrations. I did record a video of me doing this one. I actually added little feet to it, so when it sits, it sits on little feet, um, and when I recorded this video, I used, I didn't realize it was like instant glue. And so there's lots of me getting glued to these feet and making a huge mess. Um, but I'm going to, I haven't edited the video, but I'm going to edit it this weekend and get it up by Wednesday. But um, it turned out really cute despite all of that. And I used the little gnome fabric on the back and so March is done and ready for next year since I didn't get it done this year. Um, and yeah, it's got cute little, um, what did I do with my, it's such a mess right now. Here, I, just, I have stuff scattered. So I can just set it down on my um, bookshelf and I think it looks cute. Although I was thinking I should have only done one one bead and I, I brought it into the Thursday stitchers and the general consensus there was they loved both beads. But it's, it's and I do show how you do this, obviously, because I just talked about getting glue all over myself. Um, but I'm, like I said, I'm going to try to edit it so it looks nice and smooth and who knows, maybe there'll be outtakes um, at the end. But that was my finish. So yes, big plans. I always tend to, to do that at times. Um, I know WIPGO is start, the WIPGO numbers were drawn for next month. I don't know what they are, but I, I may stop that for a while or I may just do WIPGO when they call numbers and I'm excited about the project. But I, I, I have put off some of my crafting, my sewing and stuff uh, for a while because I just didn't feel like it. it feel like doing any of it and I told the mister today I said I'm getting excited again about getting back down in the sewing room and getting some stuff done so um that that's sort of that's how it works for me it it goes in waves you know I go really hard on uh one type of hobby and then after a while I'm like okay I've had enough of that and then go into another one 
and it it was a long winter and I was not down here sewing nearly as much as I wanted to be so I'm kind of focused on that I haven't done any bag sewing in a very very long time other than just to test this cube pattern for Sarah it's been probably almost two years or more so I'm excited to um, try this and see how it turns out and uh, I doubt it will be by next week I if I get this quilt done this quilt after I get that uh, patriotic sampler block done this quilt's gonna take up the rest of my week and then I'm gonna get started on this so I will update you as always if you have any questions about uh, the fabrics I've used talked about purchases the blocks of the month I was talking about all of those will be in the description box below always check my description box if you're curious about something I shared because I try really hard to include everything down there even if um, there's an item no longer available in an Etsy shopper or you know you can't get something I'll still put the name because secondary markets eBay um, Etsy you might be able to find it from a different seller so I try to be really good about the description box and everything I mentioned put in there so check that out uh, if you celebrate Memorial Day if you're in the US um, I wish you a great Memorial Day weekend as we remember those of our service members who have uh, passed away while serving in the US military um, I, be safe out there this weekend this is when a lot of summer starts for people so before you uh, start to play hard and have a great time uh, which I wish and hope that you do just take a moment to remember those service members um, who who passed while serving in the US military for our country um, have a great day stitch all the things and I'll see you in the next video bye